How's it going everybody? It's your boy Sherby and today we got another beat video. So today we're making how to make a Drake type beat in Logic Pro. So if you guys are interested in that or just, you know, just want to see what the boy Sherby's up to, make sure to stay tuned for the whole video. Alright, so look, I got some ice cream. You know, when you're Drake in it, you're sad, you gotta, you know, ice cream and sadness go well together. It's the perfect combo. I had a sweet tooth and I was craving some ice cream and I was, you know, what's the most perfect way to enjoy some ice cream? While you're draking it, while you're sad, right? So I want to give you guys like the breakdown, like what my thought process was when I made this song. Like I made it like uh, two days ago, something like that. I don't know. I was just like in my mind, like just some weird thoughts and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Let me just express myself musically. So I made this beat. And it's super Drake vibes, and I was like, oh wow. So you guys, I'll let you guys know kind of like what um what was going on through my mind when I let you guys uh, like hear the beat and stuff. So yeah, without further ado, you know, without keeping this intro too long, make sure to hit that like button if you're excited for this video or if you know, just like, want to support in general. And if you're new here, if you want to see all types of crazy stuff, you know, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, let's hop into the computer where the magic goes down. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing that I did was just lay out some piano chords and basically just kind of messing around seeing what i liked so i had this vibe in my head was like why do i so that's basically why i named the song so like why do i why do i so when i when it comes to it i really like i really like to like kind of um make that melody with my chords so i'll let you guys play i think you, you can hear it it's very subtly in there so here it is So yeah, that's that piano chord just over for the whole song basically. And then we got the him play this shorter. And then we have this. The shout out to I Am Music Mogul. I actually learned this from him. Where it's this little like Drake Moog mug bass or whatever. Basically it's like a super like gives it a dark, creepy vibe to it, and you know something's coming. So check it out. It's super Drake vibes. Bring the volume down for you guys. I mean up. So basically I just have that like in the beginning just to give it a different little vibe so it's not just the chords. That's why I have it super low just to give it a little kind of like ambience in the background so it kind of sounds like this when it's all together. So you can barely hear it, it just kind of rises tension, gives it tension like oh man, sounds really about to go down. So those are my first four bars, and then from there we got this right here. It's just my hi-hats on there. So for the hi-hats, what I did, I pretty much do that for, or at least I try to do that for most of my hi-hats, is basically... So I got my two sixteen up, one sixteen notes, and then I have, uh, I have one sixty fourth. It's just so it's basically hi hat hi hat stutter hi hat hi hat. So that's I don't know. I just like how it sounds. Then I act. I then I add the stereo delay. So it kind of gives it that three sixty vibe to it. And let me see. Let me see. All right. So then from there, that's that. And then on here, I'm gonna move on to this set of bars right here. We have Mita Pita. So then we got the pianos and the kicks, and I'm gonna play the pianos for you guys and the kicks. And so basically, all my hi hats, kicks, and all that stuff, the snares, I've actually gotten it from I Am a Music Mogul. Um, I'm not too sure what video it is. I'll do my research while editing and stuff, and then link his video at the bottom of this video if you guys actually want to download all this stuff because it's not really helped me a lot. It's almost like just plug and play, like. Bro, like, I'm just super newbie when it comes to making beats, but I'm trying to, like, I just wanted to put out these videos and stuff just to, like, 
get better and like other people can tell me like i'll work on this work on that so you know so it's honestly just a work in progress for me and like you guys get to see it too how much i grow so it's pretty cool and i can just look back and be like dang i really used to suck and now i'm better you know so i really want to do that in a few years from now I'll just be like wow like that progress was amazing so let me uh let me play this so it's my uh, piano chords with the kick So that's that. Now let's play it with the snare. And snare, I think I wanted to snare uh, just it's on the what the twos and the threes. It's just on the threes. So I have my snares just on the third, on the third beat. So that's piano chords, kicks, and snares. And now go for the hi hats. So this is like my first time using an open hi-hat, so I'm not too sure, I don't, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't too sure how to place it. So I placed it as best that I thought it sounded like, so it sounds like this. So I feel like that open hi-hat goes well, because at the beginning you got the kick that comes in, so it goes kick, snare, hi-hat, and the kick, but that hi-hat kind of just like keeps on going through all the way to the second one hit, so it sounds pretty cool. So it's a super mellow, simple beat, just cause you guys will get the vibe that I was having in my head when I start playing the lyrics that I have laced on there real quick so then the 808 just some simple just to let you know that i'm here like i'm alive basically so that's it that's the 808 on there for you guys and now i'm just playing from the top and then We'll let it ride out for a few bars and then just tell me what you think. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm missing something on there. I'm not too sure, you know. Uh, but just let me know. Let me know what you guys think. And then I'm down to always like, I'm always, I'm always down to listen to opinions and hear what people say just to get better at this whole music stuff. So. So that's what that's what I have for the, the how to make a Drake type beat. And now before we go, let me go ahead and play you what I have, so you guys kind of get the uh, what was the motivation behind this song. So I'm gonna play it from the top of my vocals, and uh, enjoy. Why do I hurt the people who love me the most? Why do I turn my back on the people who love me the most? Why do I keep on getting what I want but feel so lost? Why do I keep on waking up in the morning and feel so lost? Yeah. Can we take this shit back to 2016? Back when me and you were on the scene Back in Hollywood living the dream So that's what I have laced up, and I mean, you guys can kind of like pick up the vibe that I have when I was making these songs. Basically, like, why do I like why did I turn my back on people? Why do, why like I don't know, just like a lot of mental stuff going on in my head. So that's the motivation for that. But uh, if you guys like the video, make sure to drop a like. If you guys like the content so far and everything, just make sure to hit the subscribe button for your boy. I appreciate it, and uh, a lot of new stuff coming our way. Appreciate the support, appreciate the love, all the kind words, and everything. 
And uh, yeah, let's keep on getting better at this whole life stuff. Let's keep on getting at this music stuff. And let's keep on growing. Let's keep on living. Let's keep aspiring. Let's keep on enjoying ourselves and making making great memories. With that being said, make sure to follow the boy on Instagram. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.